I'm going to explain some of the different choices that, you, that we have. We have traditional textbooks. These are like the ones that are hardcover books. You read the chapter and then you answer the questions at the end of the chapter. A lot of the people that I know in the homeschooling community will use Bob Jones, Abeka, Rod and Staff. These are different types of traditional textbooks. Another approach would be the consumable workbooks. This is where you take basically the same information that you have in a traditional textbook but you divide it into what they call 10 paces. They're very much self-directed. You take the test out of the middle of the book, the workbook, you give it to the child, and the child can pretty much do it at his own pace. And when they get through with the workbook, you give them the test. If they do well enough on the test, then they go on to the next workbook. Some of the consumable workbooks that they have would be like Alpha Omega, uh, ACE, the Accelerated Christian Education. Another approach would be computer assisted and this would be basically a lot the same that you have in your traditional textbooks or in your consumable workbooks except that it's on a computer. Those are kind of nice sometimes because one of the things I really like about the computer assisted courses is that they grade themselves. Mom does not have to do that. There are a lot of different approaches. Now I'm, I want you to understand that I'm just going to give you a, a sampling because there's really a lot of I don't have time to tell you about all the different nuances of the different approaches and stuff, but um, you'll hear a lot in the homeschool community about unit studies. Now, these are really pretty different from what most the way most of us were educated. Basically, I like to explain a unit study by, well, for example, KONOS is a unit study program. Everything that in a unit study is based around the topic, the unit. And in Konos, the units are based on character qualities. And so you take a character quality and then you everything goes points to that character quality. For example, one of the I was I was encouraged to study attentiveness as the first character quality because if a child can't be attentive, they can't learn anything. So in attentiveness, you work with your ears and your eyes. And so in science, you have to listen and you have to look. So you study the ears and the eyes. When we studied the eyes, we got a rabbit's eyeball and we dissected it. And it was really very interesting. It was not much fun to touch, but nobody wanted to touch it, but um, it was interesting. And with the ears, you know, we drew all the parts of the ears and how it showed how it worked and everything like that. These are some of the things to consider when you are trying to choose an approach to education.